There's a lot going on in the world of Motley Crue. Yesterday, we learned that legendary Crue guitarist Mick Mars, who last year announced he was retiring from touring, filed a lawsuit against the band. He says the group is attempting to reduce his share in the band from 25% down to around 5%. He says the band also tried to pressure him into signing a severance agreement. Now, Motley Crue, for their part, they have responded, and they're saying, in fact, Back in 2008, every member of the band voted for and signed an agreement that said if anyone retired from touring, that they would in fact give up their share of future touring royalties. They say as a gesture of goodwill, they still offered him a percentage of the upcoming touring. But now in a new interview, Mick Mars is speaking directly about this for the first time. We've heard his perspective in the suit. But in fact, he actually hasn't spoken on this yet. But first, Nikki Six, for his part, has also responded. And he sounds genuinely bummed about this. He says he still loves Mick Mars, and he's disappointed in the way this is all going down. He says the band doesn't deserve this. He wrote last night, Sad day for us. We don't deserve this, considering how many years we've been propping him up. We still wish him the best and hope he finds lawyers and managers who aren't damaging him. We love you, Mick. I want to say this is a great interview from Variety. There is a lot of details here. You can read the full thing at the link in the description. Now, one of the first things they touch on is Mick Mars. Does he miss being on the road? How does he feel about that decision to retire? This is what he said. 41 years of hard work, mentally and physically. Of course I miss it, but I don't. You know what I mean? Playing wise, playing in front of a large crowd and seeing the world, I miss that. But my body says he can't do that, Mick. I'm more at peace for sure. My body just doesn't want to do it. I don't like old because my brain wants to go and my body goes, nope, you aren't going anywhere, bud. But I didn't know you had to get sued to retire. That's kind of crazy. I had to throw that out there. Elsewhere in the interview, he was asked about that severance package that involved getting 5% of the current tour, which was later up to 7.5%. He said, that's an insult to me that they're offering me that. No, it's my name. It's Mick Mars. It's Motley Crue. The four of us that made the band, you would have to have a good reason to be fired. I don't. I could come back with this and go like, hey, you know what? I'm going to counter because you assholes are felons. You, Lee, for spousal abuse. You, Neil, for manslaughter. There's an editor's note that says Six has only been convicted of misdemeanors, not felonies. He added, I'm not doing that. It just makes me really upset that they want to try and bully me more or less out of the band. So it's last man standing that collects everything. And if there's any real justice to it, I'd be the one that would be the only one that has no criminal record. I'm pure. I'm clean as a freshly washed baby. I haven't done anything. And these guys have all gone over the top. Heroin addicts on and on and on. Now, to be clear, Nikki Six was formerly a heroin addict, and now he is a vocal advocate for sobriety. He's been sober for many years. Mick continued, I'm being beat up mentally, and I'm already physically ruined. But the hazing, the gaslighting, and all that stuff. When they tell me that I'm losing my mind and I'm this, that, and the other, oh my God, what's the matter with you guys? You're the felons, not me, in my defense. They should be pointing the fingers towards themselves, not me. That's my opinion. You can't be fired from your own company unless you do something horribly bad, like be a felon. That's mean, but sorry. Then there's talk about McMars and his playing ability, and he goes on to make, again, those allegations that members of the band were playing using pre-recorded instruments. This is what he said. On this particular tour, Nikki's bass was 100% recorded. Tommy's drums, to the best of my knowledge, there was a lot. I can't say he did all of it recorded, but there were some reports from people in the audience that said, oh, I heard the drums playing, but there's no Tommy on there. The song started and there's no drummer, stuff like that. And actually everything that we did on the stadium tour was on tape because if we didn't, if we missed a part, the tape would keep rolling around and you'd miss it. Elsewhere in the interview, Mick was asked what he thinks will happen now that this suit has been filed, how does he think this whole situation will play out? He said, I think that those guys are hoping that I'll just fold and lay down because I've done that many times. But this thing that I helped build for 41 years, I'm sorry, you're not going to take that from me. I worked very hard for that. It's mine. I'm keeping it. You can't have it. Sorry. But they're well prepared. I can already tell you because I've known them that long too. But I'm not backing down. I'm not going to fold. And we'll see what happens. I'm most definitely not afraid of them or intimidated or anything else. At the end of the interview, he's asked if he thinks the fans will be disappointed that there is all of this fighting going on, that they're not really a band of brothers, to which he responded, well, that's the way it works. Every band hates each other, right? But it's hard to predict. There's going to be a lot of disappointed people, and there's going to be a lot of ones who go, yeah, tell me something new. But on the stage, all the band members are like a unit until they're off the stage, and then they're not anymore. I can't put a number on it, but there's going to be a lot of people going, 
what the hell is wrong with these guys? You know, Mick just wants to have some peace. I mean, I'm an old man. I think some of these people will really care and go, no Mick, no band. But they say that about everybody. It is what it is. And like I said, I'm a part of this company that made this name. I'm not going to let anybody take it from me. Anybody. Mick Mars sounding very confident in this case. You can read the full interview in the description. And I want to note again, Motley Crue has responded to this. They are denying these allegations. They're saying that every member of the band signed and voted for an agreement that said if anyone retired from the group, they would forfeit their touring revenue. And I want to read their full response that they published yesterday to the news of this lawsuit. The band's attorney told Variety, after this last tour, Mick publicly resigned from Motley Crue. Despite the fact that the band did not owe Mick anything, and with Mick owing the band's millions in advances that he did not pay back, the band offered Mick a generous compensation package to honor his career with the band. Manipulated by his manager and lawyer, Mick refused and chose to file this ugly public lawsuit. It says, in response to Mars saying that he only quit touring, not anything else, the attorney said, retiring from touring is resigning from the band. The band's primary function is to tour and perform concerts. And after a long and legendary career with Motley Crue in which the entire band moved mountains, they accomplished so much together, Mick Mars just feeling very disappointed in the entire thing, as is the rest of the band. I don't think anybody's happy that this is going on. But he said, I carried these bastards for years. So this is where we are right now. Obviously, this is a developing situation and we'll see how this all plays out. That's your latest update from Rockfeed. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe with notifications on and check out the recommended video up on your screen.